This is a chunk of a Briggs and Stratton carburetor from, oh man, the 80s maybe. I'm not quite sh I'm not sure what it's made of. The it burns pretty clean, so. Yeah. Uh it's upside down. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go. Go in. Okay, it's going in. It's going in. Going in. Well, it's not making lots of smoke or any particularly weird smells, so. Okay, nothing's happening. Oh, it's. it's yeah, there we go. Yes. Oh, look at that 70s plastic burn. Nice. Oh my god, it just is melting. I'm gonna go in there when it's done and I'm gonna get the little metal bits out. You need a zoom lens. I do need a zoom lens. It, it, it does zoom, but it looks like shit. I do zoom that. That's not what it says. Yeah. Now if I hold it close, then my phone will probably overheat and explode. Does it like smell weird? I can't even smell it. Wow. I was a little worried because there was like a spring in there under tension, mm. like the the uh, ignition uh, fuel. Oh. What do you call it? Um, fuel. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the idler. Yeah, the idle the screw. Idle, uh, that the, the yeah. spring was still under tension, but oh. it's pretty molten by now, so it probably wasn't under that much tension. Why is there a spring involved? Uh, it's... I forget why. It's something to do with keeping the screw oh, in the right in place. place. Right? Yeah. Just having it under. And it's also like... I didn't think you'd need that, but then I remembered it probably vibrates. Oh, hey, I just realized. That's a Briggs and Stratton carb. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Theming. Theming. This was all planned. This was all planned. No, I just found this in, uh, I just found that in my grandpa's garage. It's like and I was like, hey, uh, that smells look bad. At look at the blob of mm. It's like fucking uh, insulating foam, like boiling. It does look like that. It looks gross. sort of spray foam stuff. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, God, that looks super weird. Pay more attention to what I'm filming. I'm glad I was hoping this wouldn't smoke. 
And we're at the five minute mark already. I'm gonna pause it. Oh, you can see in there, you can sort of see the metal. You can see the screws and the uh, throttle plate in the bottom there. Just chilling, just vibing. They just vibing down there, don't be messing with them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ah! Yeah, you can see it. I just saved my house from burning down. Oh, now it's doing all the cool stuff worth filming. Look at that. Look at what's going on in there. It's like exploding and contracting and expanding and exploding and contracting. It's it's almost like an internal combustion engine. Mm -hmm. Thematic. Am I right? Eternal combustion? Eternal combustion. Oh yeah, look at all the metal bits sticking out there. I think that's the jet. No, that's not the jet. What is that? Is that the throttle blade? Eh. I'm not quite sure what some of those things are. I could, I could just make a sequel to this, or I could just add on a part of this video where I look at whatever the crap was left over, you know? I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Here, it's the uh, end of the uh, carburetor. You can see here's the uh, throttle plate and the uh, spring and stuff. I don't know. What's that? What's that thing in the... Is that the... Uh, what do you call it? Butterfly valve? Yeah, the butterfly valve. That's where that is. It's the choke. And there is another... That's the screw that adjusts the idle. There's a couple little clumps of aluminum in there. One of those is probably the jet. I don't know if the jet was in there, but look at the weird like pattern that the carbon left or like calcium. I don't know what this buildup is. It's cr it's almost like bone meal. Yeah, it's weird. Kind of gross. Kind of cool. Ugh. And this yellow shit. I don't. That's probably not healthy. But yeah, you can see little bits of molten aluminum. This this screw head on the idle adjustment valve. That just melted, look at that. But it's like, it's still relatively held its shape. That's kind of cool.